Oh, Kim Jong, you're such a joker. We'll talk later, right? Bye, honey. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, hi, I'm James Steele, and here's our FM session interview with Jukebox the Ghost. Uh, ghost. Boo! <laughs> We're gonna do a little Q and A right now. We have some questions from you all, and uh, also some questions of my own. And anything else you want to ask, just go for it. Um, I guess we'll start with the. Uh, I think this is gonna be the question that we bring to every FM session. Um, what's your favorite pizza topic? Pizza topic. Oh, are we yeah. going around, yeah. or is the band collectively our favorite? <laughs> no, <Nah>, individually. <laughs> okay. uh, pineapple. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you are real man. Jesse. <laughs> Take this too seriously. Basil. Ooh, oh, that's a Brooklyn hipster. <laughs> uh, green peppers. Yes. Green peppers. All right. Where is your dream venue to perform? I would say the the social in Orlando tonight. <laughs> also here. Right. Yeah. Also right here. Yeah. Yeah. And right here. Yeah. Small rooms, lots of people. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, what is our dream venue? We well, there's a venue in, in uh, Philadelphia that just opened recently that we, that we really love called uh, Union Transfer. It's like an old train station, and it's just beautiful. It sounds great. That's yeah, a cool room. You get to play lots of cool rooms, don't you? Yeah, we do. And we've been touring for a while, so we've played lots of cool rooms and lots of really uncool rooms. Yeah, yeah. the Paradiso in Amsterdam was a cool. That's a great room. Yeah. Yeah. cool. Uh, when were you overseas cool. before? It's cool. We've done we've done a couple European tours. Yeah. So that was I mean, that was maybe like five years ago at this point. Now, uh, what was your inspiration for off the uh, off the races? Off the off races. the races. We uh, well, one of the big things that we sort of pulled from on this record that we haven't so consciously in the past is Queen, uh, which is sort of a reference to um, their record a day at the races. But uh, we've been doing a thing for the last three years uh, called Halloween, and for this uh, at Halloween we do a couple shows. We do a set as us, like regular old whatever, <laughs> good old us, and then. Uh, Go backstage and get into costume and character. I shave the beard off into a mustache, slick my hair back, and uh, become Freddy, and we do a full set as Queen. And we were doing this, and, and we'd done it for, for three years as of, of this last year, and when we were making the record, we'd had so much fun like learning these tunes and like figuring out all the Queeny stuff that we were just like, let's just do it. Let's not shy away from it. If we want to do like a ripping guitar solo or have too many chords in the bridge or whatever, it's okay. They did it. Maybe we can do it too. You do Bohemian Rhapsody? Yeah. Really? Nice. You gonna do it tonight? No, no. <laughs> um, now, in your song uh, "Everybody's Lonely," you talk about every song on the radio is about love and heartbreak. Were you listening to the radio and that came to you? Well, yeah. It, it, well, there's that, and um, it actually came from a conversation with my grandmother. Actually, she she was retelling the story of uh, her as a little girl in the 1940s in wartime, and she went up to her mom and she said, "Why are all the songs?" so about love why are they all so sad and her mother said because everyone is so lonesome dear in her like minnesotan prim 1940s accent um and that sort of stuck with me and then you know as a songwriter you write the same version of the of the same song sort of over and over and over again it's about love or it's about drinking or it's about all the stuff that songs are about and so i went a little meta and wrote a song about writing a song it's beautiful man thanks it's really good um do you all work together in the songwriting process it comes and goes. It depends on the, it depends on the song. Some songs come together as a unit, and some songs like somebody brings it to the table, like fully fleshed out. What's the story of you all coming together? We met in college. Uh, Jesse and I lived in the dorms next to each other freshman year, um, and uh, and Tommy put up a flyer in the music department, and we jammed, and we're still jamming. <laughs> when did each of you know that you had a, uh, I guess, musical talent? I think we all, um, you know, Ben was Ben grew up as like a classical prodigy, so I think he knew probably earlier than Jesse and I, who were more the traditional rock and roll path of you know going through puberty and being like, I want to play rock music, and then you know starting a band in high school. I was a little kid in the first grade, I was like I want to be a concert pianist when I grow up. Well, what were, what were and we both beat him up. Yeah. <laughs> what were the uh, first band names in your previous bands? Oh, that's oh. a great question. Oh, Jesse likes the question. Yeah. Um, my, my, my high school band. High school band. Is that right? Sure. Asking, uh, mine was called Dandy Auto. O T T O. Sounds like a used car lot. Yeah. Uh, the Far Side Frenzy. <laughs> Eerie Glow. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't name that. I got. I, jo I joined in later. And they were still terrible. What were the uh, first songs you learned to play? First songs. 
I remember the first song I learned how to play on guitar was um, The Way by Fastball. Uh, anything by Green Day off of Dookie. You know, they're all the same. <laughs> all right. Some classical something, I don't know. <laughs> um, how did you come up with your band name? Oh, There's unfortunately not a great story behind it. Um, we should honestly have made made up a good story at this point, um, just just, just to make it interesting. Yeah, but we've had it for like 12 years. It's way too late to change the story now. <laughs> so basically, we were in college. We went under a different band name when we were first starting out, and we, we were trying to start kind of fresh. Um, and so uh, I brought Jukebox to the table. I thought that was a good word for a band name. And brought Ghost to the table. I guess Jesse brought the, and we all kind of <laughs> just kind of squeeze it all together. Now, uh, see, great story. <laughs> <laughs> where was the spot where you kind of knew that? I mean, you guys made it. I mean, so many people travel the world, um, travel up and down in a beat-up van, trying to get to where you're at. And uh, was there, I guess, one concert or one festival where you kind of had that out-of-body experience where you're like? Okay, here we go. You know, it's it's funny because uh, w when you said traveling in a beat up van t to get to where we are, I was just thinking, well, we just we're traveling in a beat up van <laughs> right now. It's a Mercedes. It's a nice um, beat up van. <laughs> it actually, we just got it spruced up. It's yeah, looking it's nice good. Yeah, yeah, it's looking polish good. On it. yeah. You, know, you know, our our growth as a band has been so gradual that sometimes we I think we all have to sort of take stock and and um, just take a minute and appreciate where we've gotten to because it's. We didn't have that overnight success that I think a lot of bands have. We're, we're five records in, and it's always been like, you know, we come back to Orlando once a year, and there's 20 more people or 30 more people, and it just keeps growing in these small increments that if you um, don't take a second to appreciate it, you don't notice. And um, we're very lucky to be where we are. I actually, I have an answer to the question for me personally, but what's weird is that the show was 11 years ago. But it was the Black Cat show around the time we were graduating college, because we, you know, I think we drew about seven or eight hundred kids, and it was very surprising, and it was like it was legitimate. Well, it was that moment where we were like we were graduating college and deciding whether or not this was a thing that was worth trying to do. Because you know, it's, it's, it's insane to try to be in a band and make a career out of it. It's a terrible idea for anyone considering. <laughs> um, but it was like all of a sudden people that were coming to the shows that weren't our friends, and like that was its own little watershed moment of like, wait a minute, we have something here that might mean something and then we've sort of been spreading that around the country for the last 10 years and you probably see it even more now i mean with soundcloud and youtube it kind of that's where it all started with word of mouth in your local uh, yeah. town and then now you get to see everybody kind of come together and support you all yeah i mean look we spent hours on myspace making friends early days we thought that was the future <laughs> and we're so, still kicking on MySpace. yeah we're, we're real good at that. <laughs> <laughs> were you um did you ever hear your song on the radio for the first time one of your songs We've we've heard um, various songs of ours on the radio throughout our career, but we were really excited that um, everybody's lonely. That we heard it for the first time on the radio last week, right right when the tour was kicking yeah. off. Okay. Well, were you in the Mercedes? We were. Nice. Yeah. We had our little that thing you do moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody have any other questions? Jesse, do you make that thing you wear? Yeah. So I was. <laughs> I made. I did make this. Uh, I actually hosted a, a party, and I had these like um, these rocks glasses, these plastic <coughs> solo rocks glasses. But anyway, I was stressed out because uh, Fred Astaire has a hand clap part, and when I'm clapping my hands, my ta all my percussion is going to fall to the floor. So one morning, I was lying in bed, and I I had this moment. I was like, I need to make a necklace out of a cup. <laughs> <laughs> and it doubles as a surgical mask. So. <laughs> Who among us has not woken up and said, I need to make a necklace out of this? I help myself before assisting others, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, the guys have a, a big show tonight, The Social, so yeah. definitely go out and uh, check them out for their big show tonight. Thank you all very much for stopping by. Yeah, We're going to do pictures.